Welcome back, guys. It's me, Mr. Frederick, once again, excited to be share with you um, a new topic about atoms, where we can learn it in a simple and cool manner. All right, um, let's let's do this. Let's go. So here, atoms. All right, atoms is basically the basic unit. The basic unit of a chemical of a chemical element. Okay. You can easily find that in the periodic table. Of a chemical element. Okay. So here you have an example at the left of an atom of aluminum. Okay. All right, and here, here in this, when you look at this one, there is, it has three different components. So here in the center, that is highlighted here, that is circled in blue and yellow, it contains, the center contains both protons and neutrons. Okay, this is called the nucleus. Okay, so let me bring that line out here. This is together. When you have protons and neutrons together, you can find that in the nucleus. Okay, um, every every element of an atom has their name and has um, an atomic number. So the atomic number is right here. It's thirteen. Atomic number. The atomic number usually is usually the number of protons that exist. So here, since it's atomic number thirteen, it has thirteen protons. Thirteen protons. Okay. Protons are positively charged. Okay. And the opposite that keeps it in balance is electrons. The electrons have to match the amount of protons that is existing, which is you could find outside in the ring. It's not necessarily that um, straight, but it's moving constantly. Okay, so it's negatively charged. Electrons are negatively charged, and to balance that, they put thirteen electrons. So for every proton that exists. And a normal atom, but it will be it will match it. So since it's thirteen protons, there's thirteen electrons. Okay. Um, the neutrons can vary in number. It doesn't have to always match the number of protons. But when you look at this one right in here, let me write, put that in red so you can see. When you see that here, it says fourteen, and for neutrons. So that's fourteen. Um, that's fourteen neutrons here. Okay, so fourteen neutrons. Okay, and neutrons are basically um, they have no charge; they're neutral. So they have like a charge of zero. All right. Electrons have negative charge. Protons have positive charge, and neutrons have no charge. Okay, and all these components are the basis of an atom. Atoms, basic unit of a chemical element.